But we begin with the victim of an alleged kidnapping who is on the stand right now in Boston, sharing her side of what happened on that winter day more than two years ago. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Paula Evan. Now, our camera in the courtroom is not showing that woman's face, but the jury can see her. WBZ's Nick Giovanni shows us how she recalled being kidnapped and then held hostage for days. Day three of the trial against Victor Pena got underway inside Suffolk Superior Court Wednesday. Taking the stand, the woman who Pena is accused of kidnapping and raping back in 2019. The alleged victim told jurors about the night she went missing. She said she had gone to a house party, then to Hennessy's Bar near Quincy Market. Described herself as tipsy at the time after having a few drinks. Her last memory of that night? Dancing in the bar. The next thing she said she remembered was waking up on a bed in a room she did not know naked the next morning. I like, tried to you know, get up and get out. What happened when you started to get up? Um, a man's arm came over and stopped me. She told jurors Pena threatened to kill her multiple times. And then she says he raped her. I didn't want to die, so I just let him. She said Pena told her he rescued her the night before, saved her from getting frostbite, and talked about wanting to have a family together. At one point, the alleged victim told jurors she tried to get into her bag, grab her keys. She said Pena saw, threatened her again, then raped her again. She was found alive inside his Charlestown apartment three days after she went missing. Reporting in Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.